a 32 trillion dollar economy by 2047. By that time, we will be completing 100 years of our independence. So for a country of this size, a country with people whose enterprising skills are well known in the entire world, a 12 billion dollar export is definitely not doing the justice. I was comparing our exports with China's. China, of course, uh, is quite big in terms of plastic exports. But I was looking at few of the items where I was looking at plastic toys where China is exporting to the tune of some 30 billion dollars. Ours is only about 130 million. In FIBC, they have more than 5 to 6 billion of exports. We are much below 100 million. So there are different components of plastic industry in which we have a lot to catch up in the entire world. Uh, it's what fitting that Flex, Flex Council has taken this initiative to come up with these kind of big size events and we hope that this will continue in future and we will have more and more such RBSMs in India where buyers from all over the globe are able to come over and interact with our plastic industries, see the quality as well as the range of products and are able to trade better with India. In these several years of experience of having led our industry at various Vidam international events, it has organized numerous buyer seller meets and has collaborated with many international bodies and exhibition organizers that has finally culminated into our venture into exhibition space and the idea of Flex Connect 2023 was thus born. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to all of you. I am indeed very delighted to inaugurate Flex Connect 2023, a three day long and India's first ever exhibition focused on the promotion of plastic exports. I would like to compliment Mr. Chairman and his entire team. Looking at the overwhelming response here, I think it's a huge effort that they have made in bringing so many, many of you together here under one roof. As I learned from him, there are 600 plus international delegates who are here from 60 plus different countries across the world who would be interacting with the top industry players from India. My dear friends, you're visiting India at a very crucial time. This is not just the year of India's G20 presidency, but also the 75th year of India's independence. And our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji has given us five pledges which have to be realized in the span of the next 25 years when India completes 100 years of its independence. And one such most important pledge is of course to be able to transform India from a developing to a developed economy. India today is aspiring to be a $5 trillion economy and by the time we complete 100 years of our independence, we want to be somewhere close to $32 trillion economy. And exports, you know, are the key drivers of any country's economy's growth. Plastics is also a very important sector. I'm very happy to learn that we have business delegations from Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Korea, Brazil, Mexico, Indonesia, Israel, and so many other countries. I think it is a great opportunity for you to interact with our top key players in the plastic sector and make some technical and commercial cooperations which would be useful in the long run insofar as your business interests are concerned. I've also learned from the chairman that some of our state governments 
of Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Maharashtra, UP, Himachal Pradesh. They've also put up their pavilions in the exhibition area. I think it's a great opportunity for the states also to showcase their potential to the world and to all our international delegates who will be here for three days. In fact, Mr. Chairman told me there were, that there were more people willing to come, but they were not able to accommodate. So, which is why I feel very happy about this whole exercise that so many of you have shown such a keen interest in being here. This sector in India is one of the fastest growing sectors which is experiencing a double digit growth. And as Mr. Sarangi also mentioned that this is a sector which permeates the entire spectrum of our everyday life and this is a sector which is a huge employment generator. Close to 5 million people get their bread and butter from the plastic industry. So it is contributing a big way to India's economy and also to the growth of some of the other key sectors like construction or automotives or electronics or healthcare, so many other sectors. So this is one sector which needs a lot of attention. And India has today become one of the biggest suppliers of the good quality raw materials and also it has a significant position in so far as the exports of the value added products are concerned. We also have an ambition to make exports worth $25 billion by the year 2027. As of today, it is, I mean, this year when we release the data, it's close to $12 billion. And this is just 1% of the total global exports of plastic which is taking place. So if we jump from 12 to 25 in the next 3-4 years, it's going to be an increase of next 1%. But I agree with my initial secretary that this is a sector where the potential needs to be fully realized, fully exploited and there is so much scope to do more. Today, we are in the times when the global uncertainties are very high. COVID-19 pandemic has jolted the whole world, but the Indian economy continues to be one of the fastest growing economies. It is the fifth largest economy in the world today. And it is going to be the third largest in the next two, three years time. Today there is a renewed focus, a growing concern about the global supply chain disruption. Almost on every international platform, this is one issue which is being discussed. It's a common concern for all the countries. The way Corona has disrupted the global supply chains. So now the focus is shifting from China two other alternate sourcing hubs in India could be. In fact, it is the next big and good alternative. So I think this is a great opportunity for all of you to make the best use of it, make some meaningful business relations here. Three days is a lot of time. You can do so much. We from the Ministry are providing all possible support and encouragement to not just our EPCs but to our industries. We are facilitating events like this by providing financial assistance but also by way of many of our schemes. And recently in the month of March, we've just announced India's new foreign trade policy which also provides you uh, an opportunity to grow more, expand more and to to be able to increase your global footprints. So I trust that Specs Council will continue to encourage its members and the key industry players in being able to increase their share in the global export market. We will also continue to support you. Our embassies and missions abroad are also working very hard. They're engaging constantly with the ministry, with the department, with the EPCs to make sure that within their geographies, the exports are promoted in a big way. And I think together we can work like one big family and we can come closer and we can make this even bigger than what it is today. So ladies and gentlemen, my last appeal to you would be, of course, regarding the most important concern for the entire world today. 
climate change, environmental concerns which are arising out of the poor disposal of plastics. I was discussing this with Mr. Chairman. He was telling me that the industry is already into action on this issue. There is more deliberation, more thought, more action which needs to go into reducing, reusing and recycling plastics because we all understand why plastic permeates the entire spectrum of our everyday life. It is also in a way becoming an environmental hazard. So India now talks about say no to single use plastics and there could be many other ways in which we could, we could tackle this challenge of environmental damage that is being caused and I think it's a very serious issue. While promoting exports, we must also think of protecting our own environment, our own planet because if we do not have our planet, we will not have a future, we will not exist. So while pursuing our business interests, we also have to show our concern. As I said, Earlier also, Ministry of uh, Commerce and Industry, we are already promoting and supporting participation of our exporters in the international trade uh, events by way of providing them financial assistance and also giving them policy support. We've just announced our new foreign trade policy and there are very uh, many schemes which the exporters are already making use of. We want this sector to grow, we want the whole uh, export share of India to grow. As I said earlier, that we want to achieve $2 trillion uh, of exports by the year 2027. So plastic as a sector also has to make its contribution, like many other sectors. Thank you so much. Do you have any questions? Yes, uh, ma'am, just one question. So recently we could see Mr. Modi uh, coming up with a very in uh, innovative initiative wherein he had recycled plastic bottles and he was wearing the jacket. So can we expect such uh, more such initiatives coming forward? See, as I told you, environment is a big concern for us. This is the year of India's presidency and look, she is asking, how do I look here and answer? Okay, this is the year of India's G20 presidency. What is our theme? One Earth, One Family, One Future. And environment is a big concern for the whole planet now. The VIP tour. They will be coming to your store right now. Ma'am, thank you. Thank you. Honorable Prime Minister has started the idea of say no to single use plastic. While plastic cannot be eliminated from our lives because it contributes and it is now. Uh, a part of most of our uh, health appliances, our agriculture machinery, our construction equipments, our electronic devices. So it permeates every sector of our lives. You cannot eliminate it. We have to promote the exports, but at the same time, we can make efforts to reduce uh, the use of single-use plastic. We can also think about and prioritize the concept of sustainable production and which is what the industry has also started paying attention to. But we would expect the industry to uh, draw a plan and make more rigorous efforts towards reducing, reusing and recycling plastic for a safer and a greener future.